determine the empirical formula of a compound that contains 40% carbon, 6.7% hydrogen, and 53.30% oxygen by mass. So to solve this problem, the first thing you need to do is you convert the percents into grams. So for example, 40% carbon, that is 40 grams of carbon, 6.7% hydrogen, that is 6.7 grams of hydrogen, 53.3% oxygen, that's 53.3 grams of oxygen. Now after doing that, the next step is you need to solve for the moles of each element. So if you can recall, moles is mass divided by molar mass. So let's start with carbon. So for the moles of carbon, the mass of carbon is 40 grams divided by if you look at your periodic table, the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. So 40 divided by 12.01, that's equal to 3.33 moles of carbon. Now let's go to the second element, hydrogen. The mass of hydrogen is 6.7 grams divided by the molar mass of hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole. So if you solve that, that's equal to 6.65 moles of hydrogen. And then for oxygen, the mass is 53.3 grams divided by the molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams per mole. So that is equal to 3.33 moles of oxygen. Now after doing that, after getting the moles, you need to put these moles as the subscripts of the elements. So for carbon, the subscript is 3.33. For hydrogen, the subscript is 6.65. And for oxygen, the subscript is 3.33. Now after doing that, you need to pick the smallest of all the subscripts. So in this case, the smallest subscript is 3.33. So after doing that, you will divide all the subscripts by that smallest number. So for carbon, 3.33 divided by 3.33, obviously that's equal to 1. For hydrogen, 6.65 divided by 3.33, that's approximately equal to 2. And for oxygen, that's equal to 1. So C1 H2O1. But we know that when you write chemical formula and the subscript is 1, we omit 1. So if we are going to rewrite this, the empirical formula is CH2O. And this is the answer to the question.